we all have a need for love. You and I were created to love others and to be loved by others. Like a flower without sunlight or water, we would wither and die without love. Most of us are quick to agree that God is love, but do we really understand God's love? Many of us wish for a God who is more like a smiling old grandpa who winks and laughs when the boys and girls misbehave. An indulgent grandfather who doesn't mind what the young people do just as long as they are having a good time, we should not be misled by such silliness. It is true that God loves us just as we are, but He loves us too much to leave us where He finds us. In other words, God's love will seek to mend us, correct us, and make us into the kind of people who bring honor to Him while rendering service to others. God loves us in spite of our weaknesses and shortcomings. God loves us even when we are wrong. But He loves us too much to leave us alone. He is forever correcting us, disciplining us and coaching us and there are many times when all this correcting and disciplining and coaching can become very wearisome and we would wish for Him to leave us alone. But to wish that God would leave us alone is to wish that He would love us less and He is not going to do that, in making us the kind of people He wants us to be. God's love can place us in some uncomfortable circumstances. The old saying that no pain equals no gain is true. God may see fit to place us in difficult and even painful situations. It is in such difficult times and stressful situations that we grow. God's love is pure. And His love will make us strong and help us to grow. God is not in the business of raising spoiled children and He is more concerned about our long-term growth than in our immediate happiness. God does not want His people to be lazy, idle, weak, silly, or sinful. But if we insist on behaving in such ways, God will discipline us in order to correct the kind of faulty behavior that hinders our personal growth. God wants to transform you and me into the likeness of His Son Jesus Christ. God is the artist and He wants you and me to be a brilliant and stunning masterpiece. He may put us through a lot of bother in the process, but in the end, we will be the kind of people who bring glory to Him and blessings to the world. He is not a genie in a bottle and your wish is not His command, and you may not like what He is doing in your life, but God is God and we are not, and, well, we may as well get used to allowing Him to have His way in our lives so that, in the end, we will be women and men of character. We may not understand God's ways at times but we can know with certainty that He is orchestrating events and circumstances that will lead to our ultimate good. God's love is not an indulgent love that fosters laziness, idleness, or selfishness. God's love does not wink at sin. God's love does not excuse bad behavior. God loves us too much to ignore our faults. He wants to give us an extreme makeover. He wants to correct the wrongs that harm us. He has big plans for you and me but there may be some mending and correcting before his dreams for us can be realized. This learning experience was brought to you by Wayside Christian Mission in Louisville. Check us out at waysidechristianmission.org. May you grow in the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Bye-bye for now.